Hi, this is Tweak. I hold here a photo frame, or is it a nightlight, or perhaps a keepsake? Join us to find out. Supplies you'll need for this project are, you will need a photo frame, your choice of size, wooden or metal frame, some acrylic paint, your choice of colors. You will need some LED fairy lights, a scrubby and some paper towel. So let's get started. My grandson and I wanted to do a painting project and I thought, let's paint the glass on this photo frame. This photo frame came in a pack of four frames. And when you pick out a frame, you want the back to come off and you want a little bit of depth in the frame because when we add the lights, this still needs to fit back in and this type of a frame offers a little bit of leeway so the lights fit nicely. So we're gonna take this apart. Set the frame and the backing aside and we're going to clean the glass. Now I got some paper towel for that. It's just a little piece of glass and it is very sharp, so you do want to be careful on the edges because this is glass. This is a grime bag that makes a beautiful, wonderful art mat. So we save these things and we use them. You can use them more than once. In our projects, they come in really handy. So we've got our paintbrushes ready. And I'm going to very carefully clean the glass and then flip it over and do the same. And what we're going to do is apply acrylic paint to the surface of the glass. What's so fun about this project is there's no right or wrong way to do it. Get out the paints you want, put them on the glass, add the lights. What I want to do this time is try to just add, I did learn the first color you put down is gonna show the most. So I'm gonna just kind of dab my white uh, right onto the pane. I have an idea of, of a swirl, oh, that was a big blob. A swirl pattern I want on this one. Like I said, I never know how they're gonna turn out and that's part of the fun. It was, oh, my grandson had so much fun. So I've got some white down. Now I'm going to add some yellow. Let's see what color yellow do we want. I have several here to pick from. Now you could put all your paints out in a, a dish or something and go ahead and paint with the brush, but I'm just doing a little more haphazard. And this time I'm just gonna pull the paint. Some more here, a little less there. So I've got all this acrylic paint smeared on there. And now I'm going to add some blue. I think I'm going to add two colors of blue. It's one thing I learned from my grandson. Just do it. Be free to slap the color on there. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of a darker blue. And what's nice too is let's say you go to all the trouble of doing a design you don't like, you scrape it off the glass and you can do it again. We have not had that problem yet. Here's what I've got so far. Look at that. Now I'm just going to Take the water and get a lot of water on the brush. Let me get the paper towel ready. And I'm going to start coming in. I'm going to start with the yellow. I'm just going to add some water. I'm going to let it puddle however it wants to puddle. It's going to mix, it's going to puddle, it's going to run. And I'm just going to let it do those things. I'm leaving the white alone, but I'll get into that too. So you know that the colors when it, the water is starting to make them run. Isn't that cool? And it's gonna maybe run right off the pane of glass, and that's okay too. And I want a little more water. See how those the colors are just gonna start interacting with each other. See what happens here? Ooh, that I did there. Is that a mistake? Doubtful. You could do this with your fingers. If you don't want to use a brush, you could just finger paint the colors in. It's very relaxing. I like the fun of not knowing how it's gonna turn out. I love that part. It's like a surprise. 
I really like it when the paint moves on its own. You could add more too. You know, I just filled this paint up. It doesn't mean you can't come back and add more colors. Ooh, this is very, very blue. Good colors. I'm gonna come in to this one here and see what happens. <laughs> oh my gosh, what did I do? I made crazy curly swirls. All on the fly, folks. What do you feel like doing? I'll do it. I'm gonna add a little more water just to shake things up a little bit. I like how the water moves and swirls. Another thing you could do too, if you wanted to, you could take something sharp, you could score across the paint, you could swirl and mix the paint, you could use your fingers, or you could use a scrubby. A scrubby adds an interesting pattern, but I would wait a little bit till some of the uh, moisture is gone. Let me take some of that away with the hair dryer. Here we go, hair dryer time. So what you can do, just, just to play with it, I try not to look at what it's gonna be like because I really want the surprise. Um, and I'm very confident, even though it might look terrible to me on this side, it's going to look nice in the end. If you pick this up while it's still wet, you can still move the paint around a little bit. So do you wanna do that? See all the paint that's run off? But it all leaves a little bit on the pane of glass. So I'm letting it run around a little bit. Let's look at all the excess here. I'll put this down. I'll clean up the glass too if I get some on the other side. I'm gonna take it a little more with the hair dryer. And then I'm going to use the scrubby just to add a little bit of texture. The scrubby also pulls away some of the paint, which gets really interesting. So let me do a little more drying. before it gets totally dry. You can stop at any time. I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna take this kitchen scrubby, part of one. And I'm just gonna kind of ball it up a little bit. I'm gonna let this put some texture into this. Am I gonna wreck it? I don't know. Let's find out. Now's the time to add more paint if you want to. I'm gonna stop. There's my scrubby. I'm going to put a little more air on there to make it completely dry. And then we'll move to the next step. Okay, I think we're dry enough here. I'm still not going to look at it. I'm going to take it and I'm going to lay it in the frame. This side that you just worked on is towards you. And I laid it in there. I really, really want to look to see how it's going to show, but I'm going to wait for the lights. <laughs> so here we go. We've got our mat. This is dry too. This is such a nice little art mat. Huh. And now I'm going to add some fairy lights. And they come, I ordered them, they came a pack of like 20 of them. Little teeny lights. Oh, and the crinkly paper. These happen to be multicolor lights. What I'm going to do is unstring them. There's a little spot where you start. So you find the little, now be careful with this wire because I, I don't want to break it, but I love these little lights. I have this little thing where I just take it close to the base here and put my hand there and I just go four fingers, three fingers, two fingers. I'm trying to space them out more, see? And I go four fingers, three fingers, two fingers. See? So now I've got a little bit of a regular pattern. And now I'm going to lay it in. I'm just going to tuck those in. And to keep them in there, I'm going to use the back of the frame. And where this notch is, where the holder is, I'm going to put a little V 
cut a little V into the back of this frame. That is where the, the wire comes out of the picture and it actually is, is a little bit hidden because of this. So that's where I want to put that. This doesn't affect if you place this horizontal or vertically. It's I'm just putting a little V here. So use a nice strong scissors and just make a cut in the cardboard. Very simple, see? And that's enough space for this wire to come out. You have that much of the wire sticking out of the frame. So here we go. I'm take these guys and lay them in here. If you want to, you can reposition them. Sometimes they all get stuck in one spot. I want them to be spread out. When you see the veins in stained glass, the wire gives that effect too. So here we go. I'm going to put this on here. Make sure that the wire comes out the back. Very gently push. Now I'm only going to put one of these in. These little hooks go under the frame. See how there's plenty of room in there, plenty of give. Let's put two of them in because I might want to change it. And then here's the reveal. This is the picture you have. Wow, I like that. Now here it is when it's lit up. What do you think? Let me see. Ooh, okay, now I don't see very much light. I want more light over here. So I'm just gonna, oh gosh, that almost looks like a constellation. I'm just once, I don't wanna futz with it too much. Because me futzing is never gonna be perfect. Oh look, and they just spring back out. So I'm gonna try to push more light to this side. I'm just manipulate a little bit. There's nothing to hold them in except my willpower. Make sure this wire is out. Okay, this is what's gonna be. These guys gently push in, so you see there's plenty of room for the lights. These lights are battery operated, so which means we can use them and use them and use them. I'm putting all four of these little arms in. And I'm going to just make sure that I didn't leave any paint on the front. Oh, and I did, look at that. Um, well, let's see, that's not real clean water, but it's water to get the paint off the front. Runny, runny paint, but we take care of it. Look at all I pulled off. Wow, that paint really ran, but it's getting prettier and prettier as I pull it off. Oh my goodness, look at this. Now, how would you display that? You could display it, display it vertically. You could display it horizontally. Oop, this way. And see how the little wire comes out the back. And that just sits back there and it's hidden. And you have... Okay, that might be my new favorite, and I say that because you no, know, my favorites are my grandsons. His are my favorites. Let's look at some of the other ones. Now this one here, I have to say, I almost threw this one out because I was really not happy with the color until I turned it on, and I thought, okay, that is pretty. I took almost wiped almost all the paint off of it, and it's just beautiful. This one here, I tried to make a bit of a landscape in the background, and then I added an old ornament that used to be my uncle's, and I thought, I like the idea of an ornament and a tree in that little landscape. A couple here, my grandson did this one, and he did this one over here. I love this one. I wish you could see these in the dark. They're just beautiful. And that's his work, all freehand him. Um, the size doesn't matter. The size of your frame, you choose the colors. Um, there's another one over here I wanted to point out just because I tried to be really controlled in this one. I don't know, a uh, little too much control, but it is pretty and it is bright. These are wonderful ways to make keepsakes and they make beautiful night lights. Just look at this one. I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> and there you have it. This has been one of my favorite things to make because it's so easy, so creative, and you end up with this beautiful light. Is it a light? Is it a keepsake? It's both. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and remember to ring the bell so you know when another episode of Tweaks with Tweak will be coming along. Until then, like I said, make those keepsakes and let them brighten up your world as they do mine. See you again.